Hello, people of Nintendo World and YouTube and the rest of the world. Bakuri back. Bakuri is back. Oh, uh, I can't speak English today. With our second episode of the Majora's Mask Let's Play slash walkthrough. Now to begin with, I'm going to give you guys a fair warning. This dog right here. You see him? He's adorable. Avoid him in your Deku state. He decides he doesn't like you. So anyway, um, when we ah. And there's a perfect example of what I meant. Now, when we left off in the first episode, Tattle decided to tell us to go visit the Great Fairy in North Clock Town. Well, you begin in South Clock Town. So to get to North Clock Town, you're going to want to come up this ramp right here. Past the first door you come to, continue on, and this is the right way. And as you can see, we have finally reached North Clock Town. So we're gonna go see the Great Fairy. She is in this little cave up here, all by herself. Fun, yay. So let's come in here, we're gonna pay her a visit, and oh my gosh, that is not the Great Fairy. Oh no, the Great Fairy. I think I just gave Tattle a completely different voice, but I don't really care at this point. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Alright, so if you have lost any kind of health up to this point, which I don't really think is even possible at this point in the game, the great fairy will heal you. So, we have to go find the stray fairy. So we will go have to go back. Start with... For finding the stray fairy, you want to go back to South Clock Town, so we're gonna jump down here, ignore the kid shooting a balloon for no apparent reason, and go back through this door to your right. We're back in South Clock Town. Now, the stray fairy can be located. Ah, hello, random thing. Um. By the way, you'll want to bypass this flower unless you want to get sucked into a pointless cutscene. Now, the stray fairy, you want to come up here up these stairs and through this little doorway and you will come to the laundry pool which is really apparently more like a river but anyway um the stray fairy is right here please hear my plea the masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in north clock town and that's that you have her um, this is where she can be located anytime during the day, at any point during the game. Um, if you need to find her at night for some reason, she is found in a completely different location, and I will point that out whenever we come to it. But for now, uh, we're just gonna return to North Clock Town, which is the same way, past the first doorway you come to, and go this way. So we're gonna return this stray fairy to the fairy fountain. Spin to go a little faster because I'm impatient. Yay! Strafers are gonna spin around in a dramatic fashion. And here we go! A great fairy that nobody likes. Woohoo! She has been restored, yay. Tattle and you, young one of the altered sheep. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. So lucky you, you get your magic power in this game much sooner than you do in Majora's Mask. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're probably thinking, But Bakuri, I, I don't have a sword. How am I supposed to do a spin attack? That's the funny thing, though. In Deku form, you get something completely different. Ta-da! You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot Bubble Blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jaws and potions. Yes, that's right. Your power is that you shoot bubbles. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. 
You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind one. If, you ever, if ever you are returned to your formal shape, former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. And with that, I shall admit that apparently I cannot speak English today. Anyhow, though, as unbelievable as it may be, yes, it is true, you shoot bubbles, that is your power. And as much as you can't take it seriously, it actually becomes quite useful. In fact, it'll become useful starting immediately. The guy in the observatory that the Great Fairy mentioned, you have to go see him. Now, in order to go see him, you want to talk to this kid. Right here. What do you want, Shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Yeah, he's a stuck-up little brat. So you're gonna want to use your awesome new bubble powers to pop the balloon and show him up. Boom. Oh my god, who just did that? Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a techie scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? You're gonna wanna hit yes. Unless you just really don't wanna continue with the game right now. Alright, line up, guys! Here come a bunch of snot-nosed kids that look just like him. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? And really, he gives you way too much time to do this. Now, the locations of all of them, the, e per the first one you'll come across is right here. Ah! Sometimes they're annoyingly hard to catch. This is where your little spin ability comes in handy. Ignore the grass. There, in fact, there's one right here in the corner behind this slide, too. And in fact, it's the bratty leader. Alright, now those are the only two you will find in Northern Clock Town. So remember, one is in this corner by the slide, and one is in this corner over here by the tree. Oops. We're gonna return to South Clock Town. Now, there's none, none of the bratty kids that you're looking for right now are in, dang it, I keep doing that, are in South Clock Town. Um, I came back here for the sake of showing you something. Now, when you come into South Clock Town, this one over here, this doorway with the carpenter next to it, leads you to East Clock Town. And the doorway over here with the flower will lead you to West Clock Town. And since I'm closer to this one and also lazy, we're going to look for the bomber in West Clock Town first. There's only one here. And you can see him right there, wandering around in front of those doors. He's really not all that good at hiding, so you're just gonna wanna come up here, ignore the random people, and catch the little rat. And he's really the easiest to catch. So you're gonna wanna go on back to South Clock Town. And by the way, the way with the annoying owl that I keep accidentally targeting also leads you to East Clock Town. As does that doorway up there. And since it's closer, I'm going to go through it. And this is where you'll find the last two bratty kids you need to find. Gives you a dramatic entrance, as it always does when you enter a new place. Now, the first bomber you'll come across is on the roof. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. This is where you will find the stray fairy during the nighttime. You will want to go into this flower and fly, it'll be flying around somewhere up here. Anyway, to get to the bomber though, you'll want to come up here, and there he is right there, running around. And so, you'll just want to come down here, up these stairs, and you'll find the last one, right up here. And he's a smart little brat, he flies down on a chicken, so... He gets a head start on you, pretty good, but... Ah! How did I miss that? Try to avoid accidentally talking to people. Ah, I apologize for that. Anyway, focus on catching them. Aw, oh, no way! You finally got me! 
Yeah. There's the last one. Simple enough. You're pretty good, Red Decky Scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang. And boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can, t I can tell you only once, though. So pay close attention. Are you ready? Now I'm going to tell you guys right now, before you get the code, it is randomized for every file. So do not try to memorize my code. It will not get you anywhere. And so they always turn around in the order of one, two, three, four. But the order they're standing in is the code that you want. And then he will tell you what the code is. I happen to get one that's really easy to remember. The code is four, two, er, four, five, one, two, three. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. Alright, so after that, you're going to want to go to East Clock Town, which can be most easily accessed through here. And the kid right there, this is who you give the code to. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. So basically, you just type in the code. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. So, and there's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and um, the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever. He lives aside and lets you in. Oh, and I have reached nine for the first day. How wonderful. So we're going to continue in here. And I'm going to end this episode right here. You will find out what is in the bomber's hideout next time. I'll see you guys later. This is the Curry, signing off.